Hello, I'm Michael Diamond, and you're watching Muscle Central. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna be, I'm, I'll be talking about are there too many divisions? Uh, let's t go to the women's first. Uh, the women's pro divisions. Right now, we have the uh, just added on uh, a wellness division, which uh, basically just a, a butt and leg show. Uh, so we got the wellness division. We got figure. We got the bikini. We got the fitness. We got women's physique, and now we got women's women's bodybuilding. Uh, returning to the scene. Uh, now, and the men's, we have the men's physique, classic physique, 212 for the smaller bodybuilders, and the open division for the big boys. That's a lot of divisions. Uh, keep in mind, uh, in the women's figure, women's bikini, you got different classes also. Uh, so I think there's three different classes. So that's a, you got a lot of competitors going on stage. Now, when you have the uh, big shows like the Mr. About like the Olympia and the Arnold, they're covered over a three, two, three day period. And it's a little easier to fit all the, contestants into the show but even then it's still a lot it's still pretty overwhelming we look at the amateurs now uh you have for in bodybuilding you got the teens which is usually two classes you got the masters which is two to three different age brackets then you have all the weight classes and then you have the novice all the weight classes you have the men's physique. You have classic physique. Uh, then all, all the women's classes. That, and the amateur shows and the smaller pro shows, they're all covered over a one-day period. It's nearly impossible to get everybody on the stage in that time frame. Uh, when I was still competing, there, uh, there weren't as many divisions, and it was still a long, dragged-out process. I'd get in there at 8 o'clock in the morning, and I might out of there until midnight. And do we really need all these divisions? Some of these divisions can, can be combined. Uh, with, the, with the women... The wellness division, I think, is ridiculous. We don't need that. Let's just scratch that all together. Uh, bikini and figure, there's not much of a difference between the two of them. They, to me, the, the bodies, the physiques look the same. They should be combined into one division if you're going to keep, if you're going to keep them, keep one, make it one division and combine them. The fitness, that's a total different animal that deserves its own place. Now with the return of women's bodybuilding, do we need women's women's physique and women's bodybuilding? They should be combined. They should combined into one division. Uh, as far as the men go, uh. The big boys, we're not getting rid of them. Everybody likes a freak show, and that's set in stone. Uh, the 212, uh, yeah, we need to keep that also. We need a place for the, for the hardcore bodybuilders that are, are smaller in stature that in no way can stand on stage next to the big boys. Uh, classic physique. There's a place for that, but do we really need men's physique, physique? They're getting bigger and bigger each year, and they're getting harder and harder each year. And if you 
get rid of those board shorts and put some legs on uh, men's physique guys, they're looking like the classic physique. I understand that the promoters, the IFBB slash FPC, they love it because the more divisions, the more competitors, the more uh, organization dues they're collecting, uh, the promoters, there are more people uh, paying entry fees, more people in the seats to see these, to come see these people. I understand it from their point of view, but I think we're being overwhelmed and uh, there are just too many t divisions. Some of these divisions can be combined. I don't think you... I mean, if you lost, uh, if you uh, combine the the women's bikini and women's figure, if you put them together in one division, I don't think you're going to lose competitors. I don't think you're going to lose seats uh, in the audience. I think you're still going to have those com those competitors are going to do what, do what it takes to meet the requirements to make have the look for that division. So I don't think you're going to lose uh, competitors and lose people in the seats. You're going to make it, uh, I think you'll make it a more a little more pleasant experience for the competitors and for the people. The shows are not going to be as long and as dragged out. Uh no, that's my take on it. That's my opinion. If you agree or disagree with what I've said, please let me know in the comment section. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please share and by all means subscribe. Do not forget to hit that notification bell. This way, every time I put up a new video, you will be notified. Once again, this is Michael Diamond, and I'd like to thank you for watching. Muscle Central.